report of the 1495th meeting of the President and Board of Trustees from Chelsea Park on this 20th day of April 2020. Pursuant to the COVID-19 Executive Order number five, Governor Prixner has suspended certain rules of Open Meeting Act, specifically that members of a public body must be physically present. Therefore, the village board has chosen to conduct its upcoming meetings remotely. This evening, invocation is given uh, by trustee Joe Sipes and the Pledge of Allegiance with the flag in my background will be led by trustee Eric Beck. Thank you, Your Honor. Will you please pray, pray with me? Dear Lord, we pray that you guide us, always satisfy the needs that need to be met during this meeting. Lord, let us be effective and decisive in our decisions that we make tonight. We ask you to watch over us, our village and our citizens. Please protect our first responders, doctors and nurses as we go through these difficult times. We ask this in our son's name, amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag. To the flag. United, United States, States of America, of America. And to the Republic for which it stands, which it stands. One, nation. one nation, one nation, under God, under God. God. indivisible, indivisible, indivisible. Liberty. 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 justice for all. Will the clerk please take roll? Mayor Johnson. Here. Rusty Sipes. Here. Smith. Here. Kid. Present. Wilson. Here. Bailey. Here. Beck. Here. Clerk is present. The attorney is present. We have a quorum. I'll entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the April 6th public hearing for the fiscal year 2020-2021 annual budget and the April 6th board meeting. So made. So made. Got a motion and a second. Are there any additions or corrections? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Minutes have been approved. Next, we'll have the treasurer's report from Treasurer Bradley Robeson. Thank you, Your Honor. The treasurer's report as of April 14th, 2020 reflected the total of all funds to be $14,004,482.42. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. I'll entertain a motion to accept the treasurer's report. So made. Second. A motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Treasurer's report has been approved. Next, we'll have communications from Clerk Lori Mitchell. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, this evening, um, I do have uh, to announce that Mayor Johnson has issued a proclamation for Keep Northern Illinois Beautiful, Great America Cleanup, and uh, in report to the community that this event has been rescheduled to June 20th from 9 a.m. till noon. The proclamation will be mailed to Keep Northern Illinois Beautiful. I have uh, no report from Hannah this evening, and uh, for uh, at this time, we usually um, offer the community an opportunity to address the board as it relates to an agenda item. We have received no <laughs> comments to, uh, at this time, but we are putting a number on the screen that uh, if you have a comment about an, a, an agenda item, you're welcome to call. You have, uh, we will leave the line open for one minute. And Jake had a good idea last time. The number is 
Thank you. I believe our minute has expired. And that's all the comments I have, or all the um, communication I have, Your Honor. Thank you so much. Next one of the warrants, Trustee Jake Schmidt. Thank you, Your Honor. This evening I have the warrant in the amount of $413,678.64, and I will make a motion for their passage. Second. Got a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, uh, will the clerk please take roll call? Trustee Kidd? Aye. Wilson? Aye. Bailey? Aye. Beck? Aye. Sipes? Aye. And Schmidt. Aye. Six ayes and no nays. Bills have been approved. Next on the agenda is administrative reports. The village is still under stay at home, shelter at home order until April 30th by the order of the governor. The village is asking residents to continue to follow the Winnebago County guidelines to prevent the spread of COVID-19. With staying at home, if you're sick, wash hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Cover and cover your cough or sneeze. Practicing social distances of six foot uh, apart from others whenever possible. <clears throat> Residents have any questions about COVID-19, they should call the Illinois Department of Public Health hotline 1-800-889-3931. And also, any follow and also follow up the updates from Winnebago County Health Department at www.wchd.org. I encourage everybody to help support our local businesses during these difficult times by using delivery, curbside pickup, drive up, carry out options when possible. Last week, I received a letter of uh, resignation from uh, Bradley Robeson, our village treasurer, and I would like to read that to the board. This letter was dated April 14th. Mayor Johnson, I want to inform you that I'm resigning the position of treasurer of the village of Majestic Park, effective May 1st, 2020, as I move residency to Les Park. It has been my pleasure getting to work with you and serve the village of Machesi Park. I wish you and the village all the best. Sincerely, thanks, Bradley Robeson. I have enjoyed working with him for the past three years and I wish him all the best in future endeavors. In an effort to maintain high level of professionalism in, in that position, I am pleased tonight to nominate Deborah Alms to serve the remainder of Bradley's term, which ends April 30th, 2021. Deb is a very active community volunteer who most recently served on the successful Majestic Park Road Campaign. She has served with the Northern Illinois Training Advisory Board since 1984, serving as ex executive director since 1997. She has proven ability to co coordinate with many projects, similarly to maintain effective interpersonal relationships at all levels and oversee a financial re responsible budget. I think Deb would be a great addition to the Majestic Park team. We will vote on her nomination at May 4th board meeting and upon her selection as treasurer, she'll be sworn in the office that evening. Tonight, I also place the following trustees names into nomination for committee assignments during the fiscal year 2020-2021. We will vote on these nominations at the May 4th board meeting and upon selection, positions will become effective immediately. Administration of Finance, Chair, Trustee Aaron Wilson. Vice Chair, Trustee Jake Schmidt. Trustee Terry Bailey. Public Improvement and Safety, Chair, Trustee Joe Sipes. Vice Chair, Trustee James Kidd. 
Trustee Eric Beck. Planning and Economic Development, Chair, Trustee Terry Bailey. Vice Chair, Trustee Eric Beck. Trustee Jake Schmidt. Liquor Commission, Trustee James Kidd. Trustee Aaron Wilson. Trustee Joe Sipes. Continuing on with administrative reports, next would be attorney Tom Green. No report, Your Honor. Thank you. Next would be a village administrator, Tim Savage. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to thank Bradley for his uh, service as uh, treasurer. It's been a pleasure uh, having him here and serving the village. So thanks, Bradley. Um, to add to the mayor's uh, comments on um, on uh, preventative measures related to the virus, uh, I, I do believe we have um, some new guidance uh, from the governor on wearing a masks in public. Uh, it is advisable that uh, anytime as, you know, someone's entering our retail establishments or they know they're going to be uh, near other people to uh, wear a mask, they don't necessarily have to be the uh, N95s. Uh, anything will help. Uh, and as you wear the mask, you protect others and vice versa as they wear the mask they protect you or offer some protection. So just, just a quick note there. Uh, I'd like to also add that uh, since our last meeting, two communications uh, have gone out to the governor and his team in, uh, at the state level. Um, the first, uh, late last week, uh, we participated in a uh, joint communication with five other uh, uh, municipalities um, asking for uh, the governor to amend his executive order going forward after uh, April 30th. Uh, first of all, we, we thank the governor for the early leadership uh, that he took um, in putting the current measures in place, you know, he and his team took. Uh, and, and secondly, asked for uh, some relief in um, getting uh, uh, our retailers open, other, our other retailers, other than convenience marts or big box stores. Our feeling there was that uh, the, uh, the retail community um, has the capability, whether they're small, medium, or large, to uh, put protective measures in place for the, uh, for, the, for the public as they come to visit their stores, just like our big box stores have done with distancing and, and, and sanitation methods and so forth. Um, and uh, we, we know that our, our retailers are uh, suffering all over, but uh, we thought this a, uh, a common sense measure that would, would help um, in that regard. Uh, the second uh, communication was to him was to grant us more th authority regionally to uh, implement um, measures and, and store openings and, and, and venues and establishment openings uh, based on our region and the experiencing experience that we're having in the region versus sort of a one stop, uh, you know, one, one size fits all, I'm sorry, approach to the whole state. So that was the first letter. And then the, uh, the second one that just got finalized today was a joint letter, I believe of about 10 or 12 taxing bodies in the area uh, asking for the, the state not to modify in any of the rules regarding uh, when property taxes are due. Although this doesn't uh, affect us directly, we did uh, show some support with our other uh, taxing agencies in the area to ask the, the state not modify uh, when those property taxes are due, um, <clears throat> given the, um, the sensitivity of, of uh, the revenue streams that are needed now more than ever to, uh, to continue functioning as local government. So those are the uh, two communications that have gone out. Um, and uh, I thank you. Thank you. Uh, next would be a report from uh, Finance and Human Resource Department. Uh, no, she has no report. Okay. Next would be a report from a Community Development Director. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, on Friday, uh, Village staff, staff sent out a second wave of letters to our business community announcing a downstate small business stabilization grant program. Uh, this is a grant program that can offer up to $25,000 uh, to cover up to 60 days of verifiable working capital for businesses with, less, with at least three years of operational history and that employ 50 people or less. 
Um, applications for this program will be administered by the village uh, with the assistance of McMahon & Associates and funding will go from the state uh, through the village to the, to the business. Uh, the program has a $20 million cap statewide and I hope the folks in Springfield consider adding to it uh, because there's certainly a need. Uh, we'll keep you posted on, um, on the status of that. Our Destination McChesney um, gift card giveaway has gone extremely well. Um, we know that information about Destination McChesney and our business has reached over 35,000 viewers and um, that's over the past few weeks. And then um, we've had about a thousand entries for the giveaway. And so we're in the process of giving away, uh, putting $1,700 worth of gift cards to our local businesses in the hands of, of um, lucky recipients. Our goal really here was really to support um, both residents and businesses um, by helping you know, put some sales in the cash registers of those essential businesses, and um, which primarily were restaurants. Um, the program has been extremely well received by our business community, and it's, it's something positive during these unprecedented precedented times. Um, we did receive some additional um, bo bonus gift cards um, that were donated by several businesses. And so we're gonna have a second chance contest for those who would like to post photos of themselves with their, um, with their winnings, just to kind of create a buzz and, and kind of get people who've already participated to participate even more. Um, so I just wanna say thank you for the opportunity to host this program. It's, it's certainly gone very well. Um, finally, several small minor construction updates. Um, Spider Company is finishing construction on their new facility. They are installing machinery and finishing their offices right now. And uh, the sign on North 2nd is going to be painted over the coming week. And they'll flip around the, the old Menards panel that has been there for quite some time. Um, both Hennig and Pig Mines are also continuing to make progress on their, on their additions. Um, and things are going well. So, and that's all I have today. Thank you. Thank you, James. Good report. Uh, next would be a uh, report from Public Works. Uh, thank you. Um, the same as uh, the last uh, meeting, we are uh, asking uh, residents, if they can, to hold large items and loose items um, at their residence uh, while uh, Rock River is in this period of not collecting those items at the curb. Uh, Ideally, you will have all of your, your garbage in the containers or in the, you know, the large black uh, uh, garbage bags that can be picked up easily by the uh, staff collecting the, the garbage items. And also a reminder that there is no um, leaf vacuuming now in April. Uh, typically, we have one or two quick cleanup vacuums. Um, that is not happening in this month. And also, um, there is, uh, at this time, no leaf burning, yard waste burning. Uh, allowed. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Uh, next will be Village Engineer, Chris Topkins. Thank you, Your Honor. A uh, brief update on continuing projects in the Village. I'm pleased to report that the Public Works building, uh, the interior is about 98% complete at this point. Uh, we have some final inspections coming this week, and uh, once those are done, uh, we'll button everything up in the building and start cleaning everything up. Uh, the contractors working on the exterior improvements. Everybody will recall we kind of had an early winter last year, so it really prevented a lot of the outside work from being completed. So they're in the midst of doing that now. A lot of the curb is uh, formed up and poured. The stoops and uh, approach to the buildings are poured. Uh, they're working on the sidewalks and shaping the, the parking lot for, for paving. Uh, so they're making good progress on the building. Uh, the Mitchell Road improvements uh, work is going to start uh, next week. And as you'll recall, there's a portion of this work that involves the fixing some issues at the ponds uh, just to the east of Meyer. Uh, they're gonna start at Meyer first and then work their way up to Mitchell Road. So later this week we'll be issuing, a, or early next week, we'll issue a letter to the affected residents um, for the path improvements themselves. The contractor will start working up there late next week. Uh, the Stone Edge improvements, I'm pleased to report that uh, is progressing well. Uh, the contractor has one more curb pour to complete and uh, they'll be done with the, uh, with the curb work. Uh, there was unfortunately last year some sidewalk that was vandalized along Colchester that needs to be removed and replaced. They're gonna work on that this week. And then uh, assuming the things will be dry enough, they're gonna get in and uh, start the dirt work and getting the yards uh, put back. Once all the yards are put back and the restoration is done, which hopefully is going to happen next week, weather permitting, uh, we'll get the millers in there and, and get everything paved. 
Uh, finally, the Forest Hills Road and Illinois 251 improvements. Uh, the schedule seems to be changing daily on that project. Uh, so the latest is that uh, Rock Road is, is currently going to work on the southbound lanes. Uh, they asked for uh, markings at Forest Hills Road, which were put down, so they had milling limits uh, marked up there. It sounded like they were going to be in this week to um, start milling and doing pavement removals on our sections of Forest Hills Road. Uh, and then one last thing, Bradley, uh, enjoyed working with you. Best of luck to you in the future uh, with all your endeavors. And that's all I have this evening, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you. Next, do we have a report from the Public Safety uh, Supervisor? The statistical report will be giving it, given at the first meeting in May. Uh, I would quickly add that uh, calls for service are down. Uh, things are um, in, in a relative uh, calm period right now. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Next would be committee and trustee reports. Does any trustee ever report this evening? Trustee Schmidt. Thank you, Your Honor. Just want to note that the Administration and Finance Committee met this evening and we have one ordinance, 18-20, that will be on the May 4th board agenda. And Bradley, best of luck to you. Thank you. Trustee Kidd. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, I have a legal question for the attorney. My legal question for Tom is, uh, next month I'll be traveling to Florida and uh, just on May 4th, with the, which is the Monday, Am I still able to legally attend the meeting uh, either via the phone or the internet since uh, we're doing the Corona-19 thing? Because technically I would be at the Village Hall right now, so I think I should be uh, able to do it. But if I'm not technically to be at Village Hall, should I be participating in the videos? I, I don't believe it matters whether you're in Florida or not. If you can participate <laughs> through Zoom or on the phone, you can participate. Okay, thank you. And Bradley, good luck. Uh, thanks for being a, a, a good treasurer and have a beautiful day. Thank you. Mr. Mayor, uh, the, the Public Improvement Safety Committee met and approved two resolutions with positive recommendations. One will go to tonight's board uh, for the Pine Isle Drive improvements and the other will go to the May 4th meeting. Thank you. Uh, Trustee Sipes. Thank you, Your Honor. I just want to thank uh, our village administrator, Tim Savage, for the job he's doing, his quick response, and in, in uh, implementing the safe environment for our employees working at the village. And also want to thank him for his leadership and commitment to our village in the role he has taken in working with the other mayors and uh, government people on working for our small businesses during this um, uncertain times. I also want to thank Mayor Jury, Senator Severson, and the other mayors, mayors along with Tim for their concerns and press conference that they had to keep our citizens informed on what's going on to help the small businesses. I also want to thank Mr. Richter, our uh, economic development director. I've been in touch with a few of our businesses in my district and they're more than happy that we're keeping them informed on what as things that are out there available that they can help. So thank you, James, for keeping everybody up to date and trying to give them and help. Uh, last, thank you, Bradley, for everything you've done and uh, good luck in your next endeavor. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Does anybody else have any report? Seeing none, next would be consent agenda. I would, would the staff Please present all consent items to be considered on the consent agenda. Yes, we have item A, ordinance 7-20. It grants a variance from freestanding sign regulations at 7901 Burden Road, first reading. Item B, ordinance 1120, authorizing budget amendments for the fiscal year 1920 budget, final reading. Item C, Ordinance 1220, an ordinance adopting the annual budget for fiscal year 2021, final reading. Item D, Resolution 22R20, settle uh, interfund balances, fiscal year 1920. Item E, Resolution 23R20, 
motor fuel tax appropriation, fiscal year 2021. And finally, item F, resolution 26R20, awarding the publicly bid construction contract for Pine Isle Drive road improvements. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Are there any items a trustee would like removed from the consent agenda to be considered separately? Uh, trustee Kidd. I do not Oh, I, okay, 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 okay. This is what I do when I raise my hand. Okay. You just mic came on, so I thought maybe you're gonna try that. Okay, thank you. Hearing none, the consent agenda has been accepted as presented. I'll entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda. So made. So made. Second. Got a motion and a second. Will the clerk please take roll call? Trustee Wilson. Aye. Bailey. Aye. Beck. Aye. Sipes. Aye. Smith. Aye. Kidd. Aye. Mayor Johnson. Aye. Seven ayes and no nays. Consent agenda has been approved. Next we'll go to unfinished business, which we have none. Next we'll go to new business, which we have none. Next we'll go to public comment. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, there were no written comments received prior to the meeting this evening, either. Uh, so uh, at this time, the public will be given an opportunity to uh, address the board for the good of the village. You'll be good. The line, phone line will be open for one minute. The number is displayed on the screen. And the number is I believe the one minute has expired and we have no comments, Your Honor. Thank you. Uh, next would be uh, German. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So made. Second. second. Got a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Meeting is adjourned. Bye. Stay safe, Good everyone. Bradley. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank Hi, you, everyone. Bradley. Thank Pleasure you, Bradley.